now we'll have we have question number two <clears throat> so we have been given this circuit so i'll just quickly draw this circuit so for this i will take this kind of shape and we have one line from here and one from here so shapes one line from here and one from let's say here this will be here we'll have register here here and this is not connected and this one here we have a battery so this one is 6 volt Resistor, resistor, one year, one year, and we have an open switch here. This is one, two, this is R1, R2, and this one is R3. <coughs> So what I will do here, so a 6 volt battery supplies current to the circuit shown when the double throw switch S is open as shown in the figure the current in the battery is 1 milliamp. So for case 1, this switch is open. So current will pass through this resistor it will not pass through this branch and it will go from here and from here so for first case it will be like and then from here then from here this will be r1 r2 and r3 so we have for the uh, for the um, uh, the resistance one we have the equation v is equals to i r and for the uh, this condition we can see that r1 r2 and r3 are in series so r equivalent will be r1 plus r2 plus r3 and we'll just put this uh, r equivalent in this equation and for the first case the current given here is 1 milliamp and uh, V is 6 volts so 6 divided by 1 milliamp will be 10 power minus 3 amp and this will be R equivalent which will be R1 plus R2 plus R3 so this will become 6000 equal to R1 plus R2 plus R3 <coughs> let's see this equation as A now we'll go for second condition <coughs> then the switch is closed in the position 1 in this case uh, then the current in the battery is 1.10 milliamp so again I have 6 volt here then I have one resistor then this one and this is connected so in this case the current will not go in this R3 because the current will take the shortest path and the minimum no, no 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 sorry 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 
the current will go yep that will be for third one so current will go in r3 also so i will include r3 so this was r1 r2 r2 and r3 so here our equivalent will be r1 is in series with a parallel combination of r2 and r3 so here i'll just simplify this r1 is in uh, let's say this as series with the parallel of r2 two r2s this one and this one and this combination this parallel combination is in series with r3 so i can say for parallel 1 over r2 plus 1 over r2 is 1 over r2 dash so r2 dash will be r2 square over 2 times r2 this and this will get cancelled r2 over 2 and i have r1 plus r2 over 2 so this is the uh, equivalent of this parallel combination this term and then we have r3 which is our equivalent here and again we are going to use this formula v is equal to ir then v by i 6 volt over 1.10 into 10 power minus 3 r1 plus r2 by 2 plus r3 so i'll just use my calculator 6 divided by 1.1 this will be 5454 this will be 5454 equal to r1 plus r2 by 2 plus r3 so this is our b equation and we'll move for third case so in the third case the switch is connected in the two position we have six volt here current will go from r1 and then it will go from um if this switch is connected in this direction then current will come from here it will come from here and it will take the shortest path so instead of going through the resistor it will go from this branch so the circuit will be like r2 then we have this 2 and here this current will not go in this direction because it will take the shortest path so here we have only r1 and r2 in series so our equivalent will be r1 plus r2 and again v equal to i r so we have v equal to i r 6 over 1.9 into 10 power minus 3 is um, r1 plus r2 and this will be 6 divided by 1.9 this is 3.1 mm. this is 3157 which is r1 plus r2 so this is my c equation now i'll just put r1 in terms of r2 so r1 is 
3157 minus R2 and I'll put this in A and B. I'll put the value of R1 in A and B. So my A was my A was 6000 is sum of 3 or 6 thousand is r1 is 3157 minus r2 plus r2 plus r3 okay so r2 and r2 will get cancelled and here we have 6000 minus 3157 so this will be no 6000 minus 3157 2843 so my r3 is 2843 ohms now i'll calculate uh, i'll put the value of r3 and r1 and in i'll put the value of r3 in equation b R3 was 545 454 equal to R1 plus R2 by 2 plus 2843 this will get subtracted so 5454 minus 2 eight four three this is two six one one equal to r1 was three one five r1 was three one five seven minus r2 so three one five seven minus r2 plus r2 by two so this will become this will go on this side so 3157 minus 2611 I 46 this will be minus because this will come here and it will be minus and this will be minus R2 by 2 so minus minus will get cancelled and into 2 this is 1092 one zero nine two ohms three one five seven minus answer this is two zero six five ohms so i'll just cross check the solution given by junior tutor and this uh, 2067 okay then we have 1091 and then we have 2842 so there is a little bit of error which is acceptable because here they have taken till two decimal places but i haven't taken any decimal place so this is pretty much acceptable and here the solution given here is correct so I'll just write correct solution good work solution is correct.